It has been one month since Tesla Giga Texas Gigafactory was announced and in this report by our friend Joe Togtechtmeyer who has been sending us videos from Tesla Giga Texas regularly, we're going to take a look with Joe's help how things are going after one month of Elon Musk announcing Tesla Giga Texas and how it compares with Gigafactory in Shanghai and Giga Berlin. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com if you are here the first time please subscribe to our channel if you would like to receive tesla news daily and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story thank you joe for this very interesting video that you shared with torque news viewers um joe says that this is the completion of the first month of construction of tesla giga texas and since it was announced in this video joe says we're taking a look at how giga texas stacks up compared to giga shanghai and giga berlin at the same one month point. To be honest, Joe says, I think Giga Texas is farther ahead than the others despite the challenges they have faced with the need to level, feel and prepare the site as compared to the other two. But it will be up to viewers to decide what themselves, uh, what based uh, for themselves based on what you see. Let me know guys in the comment section uh, here. After one month, if you remember my reports about Giga Berlin and also phase two of Giga Shanghai, or in case you know phase one because i haven't been reporting phase one of giga shankai how do you think texas giga the uh, tesla giga texas is doing at one point one month point joe also says we take a look at some site plan documents obtained from the city of austin to address construction phasing and um, utility power transmission line easement and ownership a number of interesting things are noted in these documents including the confirmation that a phased approach to the site plan and construction is being used at Giga Texas. Very similar of what we have seen at Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin. This phased approach is very important because Tesla engineers and uh, architectures work on a little thing. They submit, they get approval and um, the approval comes. They start working on that while they're working on the next phase and submit it and get approval. So this phased approach has been very productive, especially at Giga Berlin. Also, Joe says the large power transmission lines running through the middle of the Giga Texas construction site belong to the Austin Electric Company and the easement and the towers will remain. Uh, there have been many viewers thinking these would be moved, but this, uh, but that does not appear to be the case. Certainly not during this phase of construction at Giga Texas, it seems. We also have a quick video section in this report from the start of construction to contrast uh, with where Giga Texas is at the one month point. This helps to show just how fast changes have happened at Giga Texas and of course how much more remains. Today, large thunderstorms came uh, uh, through the area, uh, actually yesterday, for, for example, uh, sorry, creating a big muddy construction site, but despite this, work did not cease entirely. In fact, work continues at a very fast pace at Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas, and the basic foundation of the main factory building is clearly visible now. Some other significant changes have happened in the past day or so, as seems as seen in this video. Uh, uh, so he, these are some of the developments. Friends, let me know what your thoughts are about these developments. Uh, Joe also says that the gravel sub-base material is growing in the middle between the north and south foundation areas and it will soon join them into the large continuous piece. Uh, Geo Pier Foundation piers are uh, still being installed on the north gravel section of the foundation. The northwest pond is about 75% gone with with continued fill and geotextile membrane application. The southeast pond area has a new water tank to help facilitate draining of this pond and the south swamp is about 75% removed and filled as well. Well, thank you very much everyone. Let's continue watching Joe's video which is about 20 minute video and 19 minute video and Joe, thank you very much for this video. This is Armin Haryan from troknews.com. Um, please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story if you would like to receive daily tesla stories from different gigafactories worldwide and tesla cars and electric vehicle cars and i'll see you in our next report have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you and take good care of each other friends see you soon